Revelation 11:18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Them which destroy the earth. In our future, man has managed to change earth from a working state to a complete mess, superseding his own make-believe nuclear weapons with something made of nightmares, a device so powerful it can change whole continents. We have heard of earthquake machines and weather control devices. What you will see in this video is the next level. Jesus said, Mark 13, verse 8, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in divers places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. The Greek breakdown means targeted cities. Populated coastlines will experience earthquakes. Focus earthquakes. This video is an observation of what is to come. It's all speculation. I only have video evidence and old documents. I hope it's all speculation. Otherwise, you will see firsthand what Tesla discovered. Scalar wave technology from a zero-point unlimited energy source. I believe I found that source. What is a scalar wave? A scalar wave propagates through time, but not through space. Scalar waves can carry information, energy, and have factual structure. Scalar waves do not decay over any amount of time, and scalar waves are not in our 3D space. It's important to know that scalar waves are just a form of transferring power. The wave itself is not destructive or all-powerful. It's a wave based not on frequencies, but energy. What makes a scalar wave dangerous is that it does not lose energy over time or distance. Nothing can block or hinder a scalar wave. Powering the scalar wave by a zero point energy source, you could have enough converted wave frequencies that can boil oceans, shake every continent with sound generators or plasma induction, control hurricanes or create them, and even power something like park and melt whole continents. There is a suggestion of a solution to Maxwell's equation involving a scalar wave of potential S that can propagate without pointing vector EM power flow. In other words, we can bypass the limitations of Earth's electromagnetic field and normal electromagnetic theory. That's what they're really saying. They go on to say, but the question arises as to where the energy is drawn from to sustain such an energy flow. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I think they have done. days before the so-called Great American Eclipse, the people of South America were shocked to see the boats sitting on land where water used to be. The sea disappeared suddenly. The people of South America had never seen this. Trying to make sense of it all, some speculated the tsunami might be on its way. What could cause the ocean to pull away from the shore? There were no hurricanes that day, and it could only mean one thing. U.S. Patent number 4686605. A method and apparatus for altering at least one selected region which normally exists above Earth's surface. The region is excited by electron cyclotron resonance heating to thereby increase its charged particle density. Salt is a natural conductor of electricity and charge in the area of the whole ocean would contract the charged salt water into this density field, pulling the ocean away from the shores. Power to generate such a density field is beyond anything normal civilians understand. It would take a zero-point energy source. Also on that day, a mysterious wave of some type was caught on Doppler radar leaving Antarctica. The wave streaks across Earth unhindered by any set curvature or weather and bounces back from the device located in the Pacific Ocean. I don't believe this is a scalar wave, but I could be wrong. It most definitely looks to be connected to the events the people of South America experienced that day.
As a meteorologist, there are things you learn in textbooks that you may never see in person. You know they happen theoretically, but the chances of seeing the most extraordinary weather phenomena are slim to none. Yeah, this is one of those things. A hurricane strong enough to change the shape of an ocean. Bull doo-doo. Remember Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Jesus said, Luke 10, 19, nothing by any means shall hurt you. Believe the word of God. Stay in this plan. Keep yourself spotted from this world. There is absolutely nothing to fear. Glory to God. This is Mike. Please like and subscribe.